My name is Justin Wiedis. I'm an educator and an Occupy Wall Street activist, and I just returned from a week in Istanbul, Turkey. I went to Istanbul after I heard about the police violence against the protesters who were sitting in, in Gezi Park, one of the last green spaces in Istanbul, Turkey, um, to save the trees from destruction after the Prime Minister declared he was going to create uh, a shopping mall and Ottoman barracks uh, museum space development in, in that park, over that park. The day I arrived, the police had, re had retreated and people were flooding into the park in support of the protesters and now the protests had really expanded from just, not just a, uh, a, against the development and the saving of the trees, but for a larger referendum on the legitimacy of Erdogan's government. I saw a lot of parallels between Occupy Gezi and Occupy Wall Street. A festive, joyous mood, a beautiful uh, uh, autonomous zone with a free store and a medical station um, and a, a free food and, and comfort station and a lot of people camped out in support. Uh, there are also differences. Occupy Gezi is, has been much more intense uh, in terms of the police response uh, and the stakes are much higher. Uh, for, for the protesters there and we're all very concerned that the government is not restraining itself, is not uh, protecting the, the rights and the security of its people who are out there protesting peacefully uh, to save their park and to, uh, to save their dignities and their freedoms. Uh -huh. I, I did see many, many mothers and grandmothers come out in support. I think that the Erdogan uh, administration has very much underestimated the support that these young protesters have amongst their family members and amongst their communities. People really believe that Turkey should remain secular, it should remain tolerant um, and free, and they don't want to see an overarching government imposing social policies like a uh, prohibition of drinking, of selling alcohol after a certain hour, or family planning, or women's rights limitations uh, imposed upon them as a, as a country. And so the, the protesters have gained the support of much of the country. The BBC severed its relationship with a local Turkish channel um, after the channel refused to, to air certain pieces uh, giving coverage to the protests. And I think that that's a, a very bold and courageous move on the part of the BBC and shows that the world's eye really has turned to, to Turkey and we need a strong media, both mainstream and independent, to ensure that all sides are held accountable in these protests, the government is held accountable, and also the people know what's happening so they can choose whether or not to support the protesters. Uh, when I went to Turkey, the media, for the most part, had not turned its coverage to Turkey, and so I needed to, con to broadcast through social media what was happening. Now, as a result of, of many different independent journalists, we have uh, a huge pressure on our mainstream media to cover events that affect us. Uh, I heard the other night that a pianist had arrived with his piano in Taksim Square just as the tensions with the police were at the highest and it helped to calm the situation, it helped to bring uh, uh, solace to the many people who have been injured and who have uh, suffered casualties amongst their friends or even family. Uh, and I, I felt that we needed to bring the same beautiful creative energy here to Zuccotti Park. So I made a couple calls around to Turkish Americans here in New York and we organized a quick fundraiser, put the money together and we rented a piano and now it's here in Zuccotti Park. And you've been playing it? I have, but many others as well in solidarity with, uh, with the protesters at Gezi Park who we hear at this very moment are being attacked again by police. Oh. And uh, all I can say is that I think that the violence on the part of the police is, is horrendous and it will backfire. People will come out again and again in support of peaceful protesters standing up for their right to be in public space and to make their voices heard. Hey. 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 Hey.